Hello everybody, it's Matt Berman here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Steam Deck performance. Um, uh, well, yeah, I mean, we always look at the Steam, Deck, the Steam Deck performance, but I mean the difference between the desktop mode and then the Steam OS mode. At least that's what I've called it here, but effectively I guess it's all Steam OS. But anyway, you know, the front end of, of Steam OS effectively. So, um, I had a bit of an issue with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which was originally going to be the uh, game I was going to use for comparison. So I decided to download Rise of the Tomb Raider, and one of the issues that I had was I was really struggling to get, um, not necessarily the right kind of results, but um, consistent results between the two different modes, and that was because the... Um, I suppose I could have fixed it by, by adding on a, a cap of sorts to the desktop mode, but um, the Steam OS mode itself has a sort of natural cap at 60 for a lot of stuff anyway, as you probably already know. Um, and that was throwing the results sort of uh, off, basically. So I needed something that gave me a maximum FPS of less than 60 and an average of less than 60. So while I have done the whole benchmark for Rise of the Tomb Raider, it is effectively just the um, geothermal last section that I'm looking at, which does shorten the scope considerably. Um, I had a bit of an issue where the desktop was winning out because of the fact that, particularly in the first two scenes on high and especially on low, um, it's allowed to go massively above 60 and maintain it as well. Whereas um, on the Steam OS, obviously that's not the case, as you'll, you can see by the overlay. Um, you'll see it hitting 60 and on the desktop one in the top uh, left hand corner you'll see it goes up to like 70 74 ish um, and that throws it out because that effectively puts the desktop version uh, much higher than the, the steam os version so my understanding was that the steam os version uh, sorry games work better on the steam os than they do on desktop which to me does sort of make sense, I guess, because you're sort of limiting the amount of processes and stuff that you're asking the Steam Deck to do, and then being able to allocate more of that power to uh, games and stuff. And it could be a configuration thing as well, um, behind the scenes. So I'm not looked into it in terms of huge amounts of depth, but as a surface level, what can you um, expect between the two? Because I think for me, if I was thinking about losing performance, I might not be inclined so much to play games on desktop mode. And I think um, that is something that I had a bit of a concern about. You know, if I dock it, I want to use the desktop. But then should I then be going back into gaming mode when I just want to play games? So I got some good news and, well, I got some news, I guess. Um, so the results that I got from, from the two were pretty close, um, as you'll see on the screen at the minute. Um... The SteamOS version is actually um, doing better than the desktop version if you just look at the geothermal valley. So 38.9 for SteamOS and 37.72 for desktop. So not a huge amount of frame or just over a frame. The results were pretty consistent. I did free test goes on, on both and both the results in either case were half a frame either side of their, of their other results. So, what does that tell me? Um, it tells me that consistently, SteamOS in that one in this one particular game for that one particular section um, runs better. It does say that there's some freedom to be had from the desktop mode and the fact that you can go above 60 FPS, which is always nice um, for some sort of games as well. All depend on what sort of monitor you're uploading to and all that sort of stuff. So there's some advantages to be had there, but the good news from my point of view is that you can quite easily or quite happily use the desktop mode to play your games on without having really too much of a performance drop. Um, unfortunately it's quite a small sample size. I had some issues in putting together this video so it is just this one that I did. Um, but if you want to go back and check the... I would encourage you as well to go back and, and check the results that uh, flashed up on screen because it's really the, the maximums that are quite interesting um, for both as well. But um, I'm pretty happy with the, the results. I'm glad that there's not a bigger difference. I think there's definitely scope to try this out with other games, but once again, I need to try and avoid having a 60 FPS cap or 
or even then like enabling vsync on the desktop mode because that's not going to help us because then we'll artificially um hurt performance because of the uh, extra processing of, of having vsync and yeah that's sort of where i end up i mean i'm more than happy to garner any suggestions um if there's uh, something that i can use that might better show this example um i could add something through the third party launcher i guess um you know through sorry through steam as a non steam game that would potentially work but i wanted something that was sort of like native to both if that makes sense. Um, the other game I was thinking about trying was maybe Shadow of War because it's classed as verified, whereas I believe Rise of the Tomb Raider um, is just um, not unverified but um, unknown. So, yeah, that might be something else to try out, you know, something that is sort of tuned, I guess, for the Steam Deck. And we might see a bigger, bigger uh, jump there, in fact. And I think potentially anything that's a bit more CPU bound may run better on SteamOS than the desktop. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd provide you both the two examples as well that I took from it. These are different runs to the ones uh, that I showed you first off. And yeah, that's sort of where we are. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hopefully it gives you a bit of food for thought, I guess. Um, I think these initial results are pretty good. Um, I'm quite happy with that. And just from like a anecdotal sort of what I saw... I didn't notice any real difference between the two. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that, that comes across quite well uh, in the results also. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you uh, on the next one. So bye for now.